What's up guys? Pilot83. You know what day it is? It is Friday. It is my weekly Concord update from DC Designs. So let's hop into it. All right guys, so here we are. If you didn't see it yesterday, you can see it now. The release date for the Concord, March. It will be released on just flight first. And from what I've got from the comments about this, it appears that the plane will be submitted to the marketplace that same day and then it will have to go through the processing of the marketplace so it will be uh, a longer time for obviously Xbox to get it but guys I do believe we will get it sooner than later as this plane has been made with Xbox fully in mind so I am not worried and I hope that my Xbox members that y'all are not worried as well I will be very positive I know that this queen of the skies is coming our way but let's continue on guys so it says friday news update all images are a work in progress a somewhat smaller update this week as the vast majority of the work done has been back in the flight deck again and much of it doesn't make for interesting new screenshots after the epic work done by codename jack on the fill system it has then been my ongoing job to work through the whole thing on the engineers panel making sure that all the enunciator lights and circuit MIs work as they're supposed to. Jack's work is so accurate that I have been able to do this with reference to the real Concorde. And the same process is now being applied to the electrical and hydraulic panels. Concorde had three hydraulic systems for redundancy purposes, but I'm not sure if all three will be made operational at this stage. Although all controls will be available for that purpose. Fuel transfer is now done in an identical manner to the real Concorde, balancing the center of gravity via the correct trim transfer tanks. So far, the model has more than 10,000 lines of code to handle all of this, with many more to come. That is a huge amount of code, guys. Quite a few comments were made over the past week about the lack of the inertial navigation system for Concorde, the INS, which if you're not aware, that's what the Concorde originally used to navigate the skies. Uh, we now use a more modern technology. This is uh, outdated, but uh, this is what he's referring to, the original uh, navigation system that the Concorde used. He said, this is a very, uh, he said, there is a very good reason for this. To build one requires the use of the WASM gauges for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and at this time, they don't work on the consoles, which he's keeping Xbox users in mind, which is absolutely awesome, which was one of the reasons why other complex airliners with WASM gauges have been pulled from Xbox Cell. The good news is that once they're up and running, I can add in an INS and have been talking to Just Flight about working together on that when the time comes. For now, the INS has been modeled but modified to operate as a more modern digital entry display so that users can both input and edit flight plans without having to resort back to the sim's main menu. This setup will remain with Concord while the INS, when it arrives, will be a selectable option. DED for ease and INS for total realism. So the one that's going to be in it now is it's going to be what you're used to using in like the A320 or like the like 737 it's it's gonna be that type of setup digital buttons code there so it's gonna be uh, if you're used to using those uh, especially like the A320 it's gonna be uh, very simple to operate until the INS one comes out and obviously that will be a learning curve for a lot of people who's not used to it I know I am not too familiar with using that system so it will be a learning curve for myself but it's something I will definitely invest in learning because I love Concord but uh, also he does mention about the YSM gauges being fixed um, we heard Microsoft talk about that in the Q&A um, SE Designs made a comment about it on uh, one of the forums I think it was yesterday uh, it was in my discord where uh, he said there's a fix coming this year he was told so these are all good signs for, for planes coming to the console other planes coming down the road so good news there but uh let's continue on guys so it says concord will soon be ready for her first transatlantic flight which will determine 
whether the flight model is now realistic enough that she can make it across the ocean without running out of fuel. Concorde often landed at JFK with around 22,000 pounds of fuel, which sounds like a lot. However, at circuit height, that is not enough fuel for maybe a single go-around. Oh, I'm sorry. That's enough fuel for maybe a single go-around. So there's not a, l a, a lot of room for maneuver. So factors that have been confirmed as working correctly include cruise, climb, super cruise, uh, drag regimens, and the way in which air temperatures affect Concorde's ability to reach Mach 2. Quite often in summer, the upper atmosphere was too warm for Mach 2, with Concorde cruising just below it, and the crew tweaking the displays in the passenger cabin so that passengers didn't feel they'd been <laughs> cheated out of Mach 2 flight. I did not know this, guys, so the, that's something new that I just learned. I did not know that. Such atmospheric limitations are present in the simulator, and the flight model will continue to be refined for accuracy right up until launch so absolutely love that that's just another little thing they're adding that makes it just that much more real just like just like the uh, the stretching of the plane when it was going at Mach 2 from the from the uh, the speed and the heat and the pilot could put his hat between the engineer station and the wall so uh, just, just another little thing, you know, that DC Designs does that has that realism effect that I absolutely love that they do that. And then we have a couple more little updates. So for those who have been asking about the F-14 and F-15, so it says there have also been a few messages about the F-14 and F-15 updates. Rest assured that they're still underway, but the last month or so before launch of a product like Concorde can be quite intense for me and the team. And the fighters are waiting for sound updates also, which won't be ready until Concord sound is finished. Focusing on completing Concord will then allow me to finish the fighter updates and roll them out to you later next month. So awesome news there. That's it for this week. Enjoy the images. Happy Friday. So let's check out these images, guys. So four images. We have the Concord here at 20,000 feet. Then we got a picture of what's going on in the engineer's panel. We have a picture of the F-14 with the new, uh, I guess, his updates implemented. And then we got right here the P-61B Black Widow. They says he will continue work back on later this year. Cannot wait to fly that beautiful thing. And also, he says he's releasing the Harrier uh, midsummer. So. Also, very awesome, guys. New planes to look forward to. As always, guys, I am Pilot83. Hope to see you guys in the air. And remember, guys, fly together, stand together. Till next time, peace. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time, guys, see you in the air.